Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. In this video I want to show you how to craft and how to throw such a Swiss arrow. This is a project out of my new English book Whittling in the Wild. The German version called Schnitz it yourself. The link for buy the book you find in the description box below. Such an arrow I saw the first time on the YouTube channel from Dave Canterbury. This was about eight years ago. Unfortunately, I couldn't find this video anymore. I think he deleted it. But Dave called this thing Swiss Arrow and this sounded very interesting for me as Swiss. During my researches for this arrow, I heard also other names for this. For example, Dutch Arrow or Pathfinder Arrow or Throwing Arrow. To throw such an arrow makes a lot of fun and he is easy and quick to make. Actually, this arrow looks like a regular arrow from a bow. You have a tip, shaft and fletching. The only difference is you don't have such a knock at the end, but you have a notch in front of the fletching. For crafting such a dart, such an arrow, you need a straight branch, I took hazel, piece of cord, you can also take paracord, a Swiss army knife and a bit of duct tape. First step is to length the branch to the desired length. My length is this plus 10 centimeters. Here. Second step is to carve tip After that, take the duct, take the duct tape. You need, you need two pieces about 15 centimeters. One. This. Then you need the second one, the same length. <laughs> so cover the first one. and press it gently down. After, cut a nice uh, shape. After, cut a nice shape on the duct tape. And
So. So. Done. Of course, this is the quick way. Nicer and better is the fletching with real feathers. Next step is to craft the notch. I place the notch about 5 cm after the fletching. I make a 90 degree stop cut, fine cut, stop cut, fine cut, stop cut, fine cut. Stop cut. Fine cut. Stop cut. And fine cut. So. This is the finished notch, this is enough. Last but not least, you need one meter cord with a knot at the end. To throw it, put the cord in the groove with the knot next to the shaft. Wrap the cord one, one time around and go over the string. This holds the, notch, the knot on place. Now wrap the cord two times around the shaft and wrap the rest around your hand. Then hold the dart like this. The physique behind the Swiss, the Swiss arrow is very similar to the physics of a atle atle. Here gives the stick the extra boost that the arrow fly very far. Hmm. And here gives the cord the boost. To be honest, I throw the Swiss arrow intuitive. So on YouTube I found uh, explanations how to throw, but these explanations made me more, more uh, weird than, than, uh, than it, it was helpful for me. So I throw this thing intuitive. Of course the difficulty is to find the right release point when you have to release the dart with your hand. But this I made intuitive. I can't explain how I made it. <laughs> so this shot was over 30 meters and uh, I'm sure with a bit praxis and uh, a good start, you can throw it easy over 50 meters. 
that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn other projects, please check this playlist. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Ciao. Bye bye.